Good morning, Rotarians and guests. Merry Christmas to everybody. I'm Ron Strobel, the Sergeant at Arms. Our invocation this morning is by Catherine Sines. Good morning, Rotarians. As each of us celebrate the holidays according to our personal persuasions, let us dwell on some thoughts that bind us together. Please join me in prayer. Dear Lord, You've blessed us with friends and laughter and fun, with rain and snow that's so soft as the, and light as the sun. You've blessed us with stars to brighten each day. You've given us help to know wrong from right. You've given us so much, please, Lord, give us to a heart that is always grateful to you. It's an Irish prayer. Amen. Please join me in the four-way test and the... Um, First, the Pledge of Allegiance, and then the four-way test. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The four-way test of the things we think, say, and do. First, is it the truth? Second, is it fair to all concerned? Third, will it build goodwill and better friendships? And fourth, will be beneficial to all concerned. And to lead us in song, and I'm sure this must be a great day for song, Dick Pearsall. <laughs> I, I counted on Jim Field to be here and putting the words up to White Christmas. You think we uh, know <laughs> well enough to, to do it? Yeah, I'm going to assume that. Well, then, I'm reading of a white Christmas just like the ones I used to know, where the treetops glisten and children listen, 
to hear sleigh bells in the snow. You know, wine dreaming of a white Christmas. With every Christmas card I write, coming back now. May your days be merry and bright. Here it comes. And may all your Christmases be white. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Again, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. You did pretty well. Merry Christmas. Good luck on that white Christmas with 60 degree weather. And our president elect, David Basil. Thank you, Ron. Good morning, Rotarians. And welcome to Christmas in April, right? Um, two, two guests. Uh, Dick Pearsall has a guest, if you'd like to introduce him, yeah. and George Smuts, if you'd like to introduce your, introduce your guest. My guest is Mike Swain, and he's the prospective member. Hey! hey. <laughs> and George? Uh, my guest is my daughter, Danielle Schmutz, and she's not a prospective member. <laughs> <laughs> she's up front of all of us in DC. Welcome, Danielle. Welcome, Mike. Um, just uh, a quick note, a uh, little bit of, of a sad uh, piece of news. Some of you may remember Bob Gold, who was a member of our club for many years. Uh, Bob passed away a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I just found out this morning. Uh, so uh, keep his family uh, in our thoughts and prayers if we would. Today's three minute Rotarian, Ed Sogan. <laughs> Okay. Born in Cleveland, uh, raised in Maple Heights, uh, went on to Heidelberg uh, University, a fountain of all knowledge. Um, at one point in time, we did rival Westminster with three members um, that were Heidelberg uh, alumni. We have. Um, Mary, uh, I met Mary at uh, Heidelberg uh, a sophomore year. Um, I, you might have heard the story before, but uh, one of my Maple Heights friends and I attended Heidelberg, so we had a sit-down dinner. And uh, at the, uh, we had four girls and four guys at each table. And um, my freshman year, uh, Tony, my buddy, said I was going to be a priest, so I would say the grace before the meal. So when I asked uh, Mary out, she thought I was leaving the priesthood. <laughs> um, anyway, we've uh, we just celebrated on August 1st our 45th wedding anniversary, um, and she she calls it 45 years of marital bliss. Um, we have two children, Steve, uh, who lives out in Evergreen, Colorado, with his family, um, a boy and a girl, seven and nine, and Beth and her husband John just moved into Hudson on Sunday. And uh, they have two, and we're also seven and nine. The youngest ones are one day apart, and the oldest ones are two months apart. Um, they are members of the K through uh, 12, 13 year club in Hudson. Um, both were uh, very active in high school, and um, it, was, uh, it was great to have them. I remember I was uh, at the middle school, and I got the head coaching job. Uh, at the high school in football, so I was going to be moving to the high school, and Steve was in sixth grade, and uh, he kind of rolled his eyes and said, you know, I get stuck with you here for three years, and now I'm going to have you for four more at the high school. So that's the way that, uh, that uh, particular event happened. I was lucky enough to have um, uh, great coaches in high school. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons I got into teaching and coaching. Um, these guys were really uh, encouraging. And uh, uh, again, they, they, on weekends, they would take us um, to visit colleges. We went all over the state of Ohio in the Division I and Division Three schools um, uh, in regards to piling kids in the car and trying to get us uh, uh, encouraged into going into higher education. Um, 
I think those types of things kind of stayed with me throughout my career, and I, and I hoped I helped some kids uh, along the way. Worked in three different school districts, started off in Maple Heights for six years, went out to Portage County to Southeast, which was a great experience, um, and then got the job in, in Hudson and uh, was there for 26 years. So I had 35 years in teaching, and uh, the last 10 as the uh, athletic director, I was the head football coach and head track coach at uh, points in time uh, during my career at, at Hudson. Um, ended up retiring in 2004, and um, as most of you know that um, have, are retired, it is very hard work being retired. And uh, Sharon Lowe uh, always tried to get me to, you know, come to Rotary and join the Rotary. I just couldn't do it during the, uh, the course of uh, my work day when I was t uh, teaching and coaching and athletic director um, uh, responsibilities. So uh, Jim Hackney invited me uh, to come after I retired and I'm very happy to be a, a member of our Rotary group. I think the biggest thing is, uh, you know, when I've First got to town, we uh, a bunch of us and Jim Young was in the JCs. We, you know, there were a whole bunch of uh, great young guys that were moved in to the community about the same time, and we did a lot of really good things, and it kind of uh, got that um, community spirit going. I like the idea of um, the teamwork that's involved in our Rotary group uh, with uh, uh, Ron and the and the Gala Committee. I mean, this is not a one month deal. This is 12 months a year preparing for this. Uh, Tom and, and Larry with the Rose Sale, our, our work with the, uh, the students in service learning, uh, Santa on the Green, our Boy Scout and Girl Scout commitments and those types of things. I think we give back to the community and that's the thing that really uh, impresses me. Uh, just a couple stories about football. Um, we were never the biggest and the strongest when I was coaching, but we were always the smartest. And um, we had, you know, several games that kind of stand out. One of them was when uh, Wadsworth, we're back in the Suburban League now, when Wadsworth joined the Suburban League, um, we played them for the first time. They had linebackers that looked like they could be playing in the MAC. They were 6'2", about 230 pounds. I had one that was 5'9 uh, and 145. And, uh, and we were, you know, horribly mismatched uh, physically. But our kids just did a great job, and in a particular game uh, in that first year, we had a quarterback named Jeff McLean, who's an oral surgeon now in Pittsburgh, and he married Carrie Grace, um, Joanne and Jack Grace's daughter. But uh, anyway, we, they were driving down the field late in the game. Um, they were on the seven-yard line. It was fourth down and goal to goal. And, and instead of kicking a field goal, which would kind of seal the victory, they decided to go for it and try to score the touchdown. We stopped them. We had a minute 20 to go 93 yards. Jeff McLean led him down the field. Eric Paramisi catches a ball uh, on his backside in the end zone as time's running, time is running out. Those are types of things that will you know, stay with me forever. It's not just those two guys, but it was the linemen and everybody else coming together as a team to, to provide that victory. Another game that kind of stands out, um, we were playing um, one of our rivals in the league. Last game of the year, um, my son's junior year, and uh, Mr. Revere, they beat us 42 to nothing. Um, they kept their first team the whole in the whole game. They were going to the playoffs. I believe that year they ended up second in the state in the playoffs. Um, we weren't real happy because we were trying to sub all our guys in, especially the seniors, and get them playing time. They were well ahead. Uh, the game was, you know, n never in doubt because of the talent that they had, and. Uh, so during the off season, you know, one of the things I put up on the uh, in the weight room was don't get mad, get even. Um, so the kids lifted all year. We played them again in the last game of the year, um, my son's senior year. At the middle of the fourth quarter, we blocked a field goal. Um, I mean, the team almost, I mean, poured onto the field. And we, you know, it's a 15-yard, I mean, we got to get them back on the sideline. They were all fired up. We ended up beating them 10-7. Um, to 7. And it was one of those types of things that kind of stays with you a little bit. Again, they were better athletically than we were, but we were a better team. And that's the type of thing that I think kind of stays with me. A lot of different co uh, coaching type things that you know you, you think about, but it's, it's not where you start off, it's where you finish. And this is a great group, and I'm proud to be a member. Merry Christmas.
Thanks, Ed. And we're thrilled to have you as a member, too, believe me. Pardon, Phil? I said he would have made a good priest. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're absolutely right. Uh, today's program, we have two scholarship winners, two students who received scholarships last year, uh, who are with us to share experiences uh, in their first semester in college. The two other scholarship winners, uh, I'm told, will visit the, the club on January 6th and fill us in on their experiences at that time. So, program, Dan Williams, I'll turn it over to you, and Catherine. Thank you, David. Good morning, Rotarians. Good morning, Dan. Yeah, only a football coach can remember a game 25 years ago, a specific play, you know, and they're all like that. Uh, it's just amazing how they remember those things. Well, as Dave said, this is our annual uh, meeting where we get a chance to hear what our scholarship winners uh, accomplished in their first semester on campus. Normally we have all five of them here, but we're so close to Christmas that a number of them are traveling with their families to grandma's house and so on. So they will be here our next meeting, which is January 6th. Uh, but today we do have two of our scholarship winners from last year, and we'll start with Allie. Allie Evans is attending Ohio U and told us that she survived quite well and did very well in her grades, so she's going to come up and share with us. Allie? Watch the cords. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Um, I am a freshman at Ohio University, and I remember when I came and talked to the Rotary Club in May, and I was just thinking, wow, it's going to be so strange when I come back in December, because my life is going to be so different, and it is. Um, <laughs> so I've had a really great first semester. I couldn't be more happy with Ohio University. It really feels like home to me. And I've been provided with a lot of great opportunities. Um, I'm in the Honors Tutorial College, which gives me this really unique experience of getting a one-on-one -on -one class with a professor every semester. And I can gear that class towards whatever my interests are. Um, my major is sociology. So this first semester, I did an intro to sociology course. And then next semester, I'm studying poverty. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm looking to get an internship with Make-A-Wish um, this, sum this summer, um, and I have an interview with them coming up. So I'm just really excited to see what the rest of my college career brings, and yeah, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. It's really fun to see the, the students come back and most of them show how well prepared Hudson High School um, had them for their first year in college. That's, that says something. I'm, I don't think Phil Herman's here tonight, this morning, but it really says something about our schools. Our second recipient is Ashley Golf, and she, much to Tom's dismay, is attending Miami U. So, <laughs> Ashley. Good morning. Good morning. Oxford has been the perfect fit for me. I really enjoyed my classes. Um, I really love the business school, and I've been doing my best to take advantage of all of the resources that they have available, like a writing center and um, office hours and things of that nature. I really liked my professors, too. They were very approachable, so I would go in and talk to them before and after class to make sure that I fully understood the material. Um, as far as extracurriculars go, I got a job down on campus, so I work about 20 hours a week. And I joined a program called Adopt-A-School, where four days a week I would go to different elementary schools and high schools and tutor and help out the teachers in whatever way they need. But yeah, I wanted to say thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. I would not be where I am without the help of people like you. So have a happy holiday. Thank you. 
Okay, it's a short program today because we thought you'd enjoy Christmas. Both of our scholarship recipients, I've been reminded, are uh, alumni of the service learning program. So it shows what Lanny Bonner's doing uh, in that program. So we'll have the other three uh, recipients January 6th. Have a great Christmas, everybody. Not to put our scholarship winners on the spot, anybody have any questions? No questions, wow. I guess it is getting close to the Christmas holiday, right? Okay, uh, greeter today, uh, Matt LaFountain, thank you Matt. AV, Tom Page, and Brad Nelson, thank you gentlemen. And Dan Rich. And who else am I missing? Ron Barnhouse? I don't know if Ron's here or not. Okay. Uh, the Rotabuck. Okay, today's payout is twenty four dollars. The jackpot one thousand thirty one dollars. The last four digits are three eight one three. Oh, three eight one three. Three eight one three. Oh, yeah. 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 Woo. I <laughs> didn't get that black ball. Black ball. Yeah, I do. I did. 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 Black marble is in there. Black marble is in there. No. That's a table. Bring it back. It looks like. Looks like we've got about 14 marbles left, plus the black. 14 plus the black. Okay, just a reminder, there is no club meeting next week. The next meeting will be January 6th. Again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. If you're traveling, please travel safely, and we'll see everybody in 2016. Good morning.